Hi everyone, I'm Janice, a pharmacist from Kaisa Pharmacy and today I'll be sharing to all of you about the types of pain, pain management and the medications that are normally dispensed over the counter and also um, the side effects of these medications in the long run. I hope you stay tuned and enjoy the video. Please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So firstly, I'll be talking about the types of pain. We have acute pain, which occurs on a sudden onset, lasts for a short period of time, ranging for a few minutes, hours, a couple of days, or even a few months. But it's always less than six months. Chronic pain, on the other hand, lasts more than six months and can affect the person's quality of life. Breakthrough pain normally is on a sudden onset, increases with intensity, and it can actually worsen upon exertion. So next, I'll be talking about three more different types of pain. Firstly, it's the bone pain. It normally occurs as a discomfort in one or more parts of the bones or the joints during rest or upon carrying out a certain type of physical activity. Next, we have nerve pain. It's caused by severe nerve damage, and uh, it normally is present through a sharp stabbing pain or sensitivity to different types of temperature. This is also known as the neuropathic or neuralgia. And next we have the phantom pain, which feels like it's a pain sensation that is coming from a body part that is no longer there. It normally occurs as a result of amputation. So next I'll be talking about soft tissue pain and also referred pain. For soft tissue pain, it's normally a result of damage or inflammation of the muscle tissue or ligaments and it's associated with swelling or bruising. Referred pain is actually a pain that comes from one particular location. It normally is a result of an injury inflammation of another structure or organ instead. For instance, like uh, when we have a heart attack, the pain is often felt in the neck, left shoulder and down the right arm, but it's not actually from uh, those areas, but instead it's from the uh, heart itself. So uh, below I've included a figure that is called the comparative pain scale chart in which healthcare professionals actually show this chart for our patients to actually identify the degree or extent of pain so that we can actually pick out a proper pain management for them to actually manage their pain in a better way. Hi, so next we'll be talking about how do we manage our patient's pain. So basically we'll be picking a few medications from different classes of pain relievers. Some would actually require a doctor's prescription and some can be easily obtained over the counter. So basically we have non-opioids, weak opioids, combination opioids, strong opioids, a juvenile treatment and non-pharmacological treatment. When we talk about non-opioids, we basically um, pick out medication from the classes of NSAIDs, acetaminophen, paracetamol or aspirin. These medications are not similar to morphine because they don't have the addictive effect. And then we have weak opioids. In terms of weak opioids, we have medications such as codeine or tramadol. These two medications would require a doctor's prescription. And these medications have a little similarity to morphine. Next, we have the combination opioid. Combination opioid is normally a mixture between non-opioids and also uh, opioids that uh, are strong or even weak. So normally we have uh, medications available in the, pharmacy, uh, in the pharmacy such as Ultraset which is a combination of a non-opioid and also a weak opioid and other sort of medication. But these kind of medications would also need a doctor's prescription. Then next we have a strong opioid. Strong opioid is very rarely given for a normal kind of pain. It's normally given in palliative care and it also uh, needs to be under supervision, lah, intense supervision when a uh, healthcare professional actually prescribes such medications to a patient. And then next we have the um, adjuvant treatments. So adju adjuvant treatments are medications that can help relieve pain by uh, relieving inflammation or by improving the function of other systems such as uh, capsidine cream or gabapentin. Lah. So next we have the non-pharmacological treatments. Non-pharmacological treatments can actually work hand in hand with um, the pharmacological treatments of a certain pain management to improve the quality of life of a patient. Lah. So um, these kind of pharmacological treatments include uh, psychotherapy, counseling, supplements that involve um, uh, reduce the anti-inflammatory uh, supplements all these kind of things can actually improve the quality of life so if you're wondering what kind of medication or uh, supplements that you can that you would want to take to improve uh, your pain or your quality of life do not hesitate to walk into any of our kaisa pharmacy outlets to get uh, appropriate healthcare advice from any of our pharmacies available
So in terms of painkillers, uh, the medications fall into two categories which is the over-the-counter products and also the prescribed painkillers. So in terms of over-the-counter products, we can normally buy these medications in a pharmacy and also a prescription wouldn't be required. So these products include acetaminophen or otherwise known as paracetamol and also we have the NSAIDs such as aspirin, ibuprofen or naproxen and normally people take these for mild pains. So this kind of medication normally does not require prescription and can be easily available in the pharmacy. So next we have uh, prescription painkillers. So prescription painkillers are normally uh, medications that fall under the category of opioids. So they actually help to block the nerve signals that transmit feelings of pain to your brain, bringing some sort of uh, feeling of pleasure lah, means that you won't feel so much of pain. So doc doctors usually prescribe this medication for um, severe or chronic pain lah. Um, for instance, when a patient has just met an accident or who had a recent surgery, a painful injury, or are living in terms of like long-term illness such uh, or such as like cancer or palliative care. So that's all from us as for today. I hope you find this video beneficial. For more information, do not hesitate to walk into any of our Kaisa Pharmacy outlets to get uh, more information on what you can take and how to improve your quality life without actually affecting um, your performance. So give this video a thumbs up and a like and do not uh, forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.